Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week and that your summer is getting off to a good start. Mine is so far, but last night I had one of those colds just like come on me. You know, it was just one of those things where you think, gosh, my throat feels a little scratchy. And then within an hour, you're sick. That's what happened to me last night. So I am, I took, went back to sleep for a little bit this morning and I took some Mucinex D. So if you see me like shaking, I think that's what it is. It's got that, um, whatever that decongestant is in it and it kind of makes me nervous feeling. But I really wanted to do this video because it could be, I think one of my best hauls that I've ever had. I just got some really good shoes, sunglasses, some jewelry, some really good makeup, and some clothes. So <laughs> you can't beat that. And I'm really looking forward to this summer when I'm home and I don't have to go back and forth as much doing more videos. Like I want to do that closet confidential tag. I want to do more. I've always been kind of insecure not insecure, but I didn't really feel like I was the one to give fashion tips because, you know, I didn't go to fashion school or whatever like that, but I think I'm going to do it and it's just going to be my opinions and just for fun and just do some different, um, you know, like skinny jeans, show my favorite ones, which I know I've said I've done that a million times, but I really do have some plans to do some stuff like that this summer because I really enjoy getting dressed getting dressed up, getting dressed, getting putting things together, and I just enjoy all of that, and makeup, of course. So, anyway, I have a bunch of new stuff planned for this summer. Okay, I think I will start off with makeup, and I had a few things left over from last week that I'll go ahead and show you, and I was watching Lorraine, the current custom, who has always been one of my favorites. When I Before I did videos, I loved watching Lorraine because she introduced me to some new things that I had never tried, like YSL, and I always thought she was so sexy and pretty, and she always wore a dress, and I just loved that. And so when I was watching her, she had done a Sephora haul and gotten this little, it's a NARS, 500 point perks. And so I thought, gosh, well, that'll be good because I always have, you know, a number of points saved up. So I ordered, I'll show you what I ordered first. One of you told me when I showed the Bite Lipstick in Fig, you told me that your favorites in this brand, in the lipstick was the, is it, I'm not going to pronounce this right, it's V-O-U-V-R-A-Y, Vure or I don't know how, I'm not going to even try that, but it is a little bit more of, I think, a peachy pink, and it is very pretty. It's very, very natural. I couldn't, I was trying to decide what I was going to wear today, and it doesn't really look peachy pink. I think that's how they described it. Maybe a cooler pink. Anyway, I just really like these lipsticks, and I think the formula is really good. I have noticed, a couple of you told me not to keep them in the car when it's hot, and I've noticed that, that even when I got them off the porch from, you know, Sephora or UPS, they were sweaty, like they were gonna, you know, melt or something. So I will not put that in my purse, which is not really a problem with me. I don't really do that a lot anyway. Um, this one is also another Bite Beauty that they said it was their favorite nude. And it is one of the Bite Beauty natural food grade glosses. High pigment pencil. Sorry, you'll probably see me swallowing hard because I, it's, it's one of those things where my nose isn't really stopped up but it's like behind my nose and my throat is really feels swollen and weird back there but anyway so this is did i already tell you the name madeira madeira m-a-d-e-i-r-a and i have used this matter of fact i've used this as a base a couple of times and then put it's really pretty then put glosses over it it is a little bit more wearable than those typical, than the hourglass pencil or the, any of those other nude pencils. So thank you, and I will try to find your name and put it down here, but I think that was a couple videos ago, but I'll still try to find it. And I appreciate it when you guys tell me what you like because, you know, I don't have a Sephora, so I can't go just look at them. And um, usually when you describe them, I can pretty much tell if it's going to be something I like. So I got those two to try. And then... 
all of you, not all of you, but a lot of you always brag on these NARS pencils and I've never gotten one. So this is the one that Lorraine was saying that she replaced and it is the, it's the nude one. It's on Rue Bonaparte. And I like these. I don't use this every time. I don't always put something in my waterline, but so many of you love this that I got it to try it. And it is a really pretty color. It's just that nude. And it's just not too white or not too creamy, not too peachy. And I've only used it once. I've actually had this all sitting out here with intentions to show you. And this so I got that. Here. This was the main temptation is you got this little pencil, which is one I've been wanting to try. And it's that same larger than life pencil, but in the black, which is Via Veneto. I love this. I can totally see what the hype is now. It is so black and it is like the perfect consistency. It's like, I don't know how to even describe it. It reminds me, if I had to, if I had to describe it, it would be like the MAC pencils that I like, engraved and those pencils, because it is, you can smear it, but it's not one of those that is just so soft that it just, you know, melts all over the place. I really, really like it. So I'm glad I tried that. And then, oh gosh, let me wipe this off. Then I got this little gloss as a, like, little point perk. I'm not even sure which one it is. You know, my eyes can't see that well. Um pink oh pin up pink shiny and it just looks like one of my good glosses today you have to tell me what you think about my makeup i wanted to do something totally different than i did yesterday i don't know or the day before yesterday the, the video i posted yesterday my may favorites i did not even want to post that video because i don't know if it was the lighting or what it was but i looked like a oompa loompa it was like my whole body and hair was the same color. So I had noticed that after one or two washings last time that my hair was going back to more of a warm tone. So I used the purple shampoo last night, the Matrix, whatever, silver, whatever that Matrix purple shampoo is. And I used a different foundation today and I went back to my old school blush and my old school bronzer technique i didn't carry it in as far and i did more of a kate upton is who i kind of modeled my eyeshadow after so you have to tell me what you think about this makeup versus the other makeup i've been wearing not that it matters but you know it's just fun to hear what you think okay so in this box i got a little baby uh deep throat oh i thought it was a little orgasm okay this is even better so it's a little baby deep throat blush you guys have seen that. It's just a little peachy pink blush. I got a the pencil and then this. What is this? The satin lip pencil. And this is a real nude color too. I can't remember which one it is. I'm sorry. I'm not. My thoughts aren't connecting here very well. Let's see. It's R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. Satin lip pencil. And we will swatch it right here. It's beautiful. So if you, look how pretty that is. Wow, that might be one of my bombshell lips that I can wear. So if you have some points, I would suggest that you get this little NARS box because that is so worth it. And then I got this shampoo. I've gotten the full size of this for Brooke, but this is one of her favorite shampoos and conditioners. And this, and I don't know what my other little sample was. But, um, so I'm going to go put this okay, up and, and then right this back. is something I'm excited about, but I'm kind of excited to tell you, I'll just go ahead and show you. I ordered this, which is the Tom Ford, oh goodness, is it Neroli Portofino Eau de Parfum? And I was reading in one of my latest magazines, they had the different beachy type scents, which you know is my favorite. I've already got the Bronze Goddess, which is one of my favorites. If you like the smell of the beach mixed with gardenias that's a good one then i've got bobby brown beach and i've always loved that and the thing is it doesn't have very good lasting power on me but what i like about that one is it's one i can just kind of spray all over and go and brooke can use that one too because i don't feel like it's too overpowering and one of my favorites is the fire island from bond number nine and that's what i wanted to tell you if you have fire island you don't need this and they're both fairly expensive and I don't know if I would have 
gotten this, but John gets these things at work every once in a while. They're kind of like awards, and it'll be like, you know, a certificate for X amount of money, and he had one of those, and we were on Amazon, and he had already gotten what he wanted, and so he asked me what I wanted, and this is what I chose, so it's kind of like he won it for me, and it is very beachy. It's very, it's wonderful. I mean, it is, it is truly a, ooh, oh God. Well, I'm really going to be smelling it now. It is truly a sexy, beachy scent, just like the Fire Island. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I, I could tell the spray difference. Them I will have to smell them side by side one time and try to tell you. But if you are on the fence about this and you don't have the Fire Island, whichever one you choose, you will like. Both of them are fabulous. And I just, these Tom Ford scents last very well, but so do the Bond Number no. 9. So, but love it. And... I sprayed just a little bit and kind of walked through it and then I John it didn't bother John and then I sprayed it on a couple times and it doesn't bother him so it is one of those scents that you can wear around somebody that's kind of sensitive I accidentally to it. put these up when I took the other stuff back I got two lip glosses this week like I really needed them but both of these came highly recommended and they are both beautiful and one of them is what I have on now and I was watching oh my goodness I want, I'm wanting to say Krista or, oh goodness, I will put her name and I will put everybody I mention, I will put their link down below. But I was watching her favorites and I always like her opinions and her recommendations. Gosh, Krishna maybe or something like that. But she was recommending, she had this on her favorites and she recommended the Vinyl Rose Lacquer from Estee Lauder. And I believe she said Rose Vinyl. And it was, the girl didn't recognize it when I asked for that. I think vinyl is just the, no, it is. It's vinyl rose and lacquer because they have lacquer and shimmer and some other ones. Anyway, I have it on now and it is gorgeous. And I have it on with Spice Lip Liner. And what I did is I put it on very lightly just on the outside of my lips. And then I took my finger and really rubbed it in and then blotted my lips because I didn't want the spice to mix with this. I just wanted the spice as, you know, just to define my lips. And this color is just wonderful. It is the most beautiful rosy nude and it is like a lacquer. But look at that. It is just gorgeous. It is one of the prettiest lip glosses I have ever worn. And I, if you don't like this color, like if you're more into the peachy colors, Go and see what colors they have in this same formula because it is just gorgeous. I can't even think of what this reminds me of. It reminds me of all those lipsticks or lip glosses that are, you know, stay all day and you don't really like the consistency, but you love the way they color, cover, and just the way they look, the Lorac and all those, but it feels better. It's just gorgeous. And it just makes your lips look really full and pretty. It's really nice. So I recommend this as something you go look then at. And this, this is something I had written down a long time ago when I was watching Rachel, the beauty professor. And it was expensive. So it was one of those things, you know, I kind of didn't get right off the bat. I wanted to, I don't know, you know, you think about some stuff sometimes. And she had her favorites or else she was doing, I think she was doing her go-to look. And she used this and... I decided I needed to try it, and it is the Tom Ford Lip Gloss in number 01 Naked Ultra Shine Lip Gloss. And there is a lot more to it than I thought there would be. It's gorgeous. It comes with a brush, and I'll put it right beside this. It's thinner, of course, than the Vinyl Rose, but it still has very, very good pigment. And it is the perfect. I thought about wearing it today. But I felt like I would look, probably look better with color, especially since I don't feel too good. But it is the perfect nude lip for the summertime because it is, I mean, it has a lot of pigment. It really, you know, blanks out your lips. She uses it over, like in the middle, over other things. And I'm sure it would be pretty like that too. But it is just gorgeous by itself. It's just see-through enough not to be hard to wear or weird looking but it's just gorgeous so this could be a really pretty summer nude lip for you if you're looking for something like that so love these both and recommend them so i did real good everything i got this week is just winners so i'll be right back and we'll okay, go right so back this is I, I would be embarrassed but you guys know me by now so i'm not <laughs> sunglasses 
you guys know that is just one of my many weaknesses and I ordered these probably about two weeks ago and they just came in this week and I love them but they are not going to be for everyone and they're not for every day you have to be feeling you have to be feeling pretty good to wear these but they are the Costa Del Mar and they are just like my other ones that I got they're the oh gosh you guys told me how to pronounce that the Ela I believe it's pronounced Ela it's I S L A and I love them they are just like the other ones but they're white of course and the website that I got them from let you choose the lens because I think at a couple of websites I looked at you had to get like a I think it was a coppery orangey type lens and I liked the dark lens and I have just enjoyed those other glasses so much my brown tortoiseshell ones and I just love them and they're polarized and they were not that expensive for a really nice pair of polarized sunglasses so I'm going to try these on for you and <laughs> they remind me of that picture of um I lo always love that picture of Bridget Bardot with the white glasses and I just love them I just can't recommend these enough and they do have them in black and the tortoiseshell I really like that the inside of these is black too so when you're wearing them you don't see any of that white because that would be distracting and just love these so I know that they're not going to be all three of the glasses oh goodness I told you all three of the sunglasses I got this week are not going to be for everyone but that's what I like about them I love wearing funky sunglasses and so these are the Costas and they are the 580 lens I mean they're just really nice sunglasses okay the day I had those on no it wasn't that day it was another day I had put on my larger Ray-Bans the large aviators and I remembered the guy in Sunglass Hut saying that they had a bunch of new styles he said you've got to come in next week they we're having just lots of new styles of Ray-Bans come in so I was out there anyway I think I went to Gap to get Will a new bathing suit and I ran into Sunglass Hut and he was right there were just so many I left one pair behind that I wanted that I'll probably get in the future but anyway so they had these that I just loved and you guys know I love aviators and I never really feel guilty about getting Ray-Ban aviators because I just know they're gonna be in style forever and these are just the same you know style that I always get just the typical I can't remember I'll put the link down below but they have the pink lenses and I don't know if you guys can I don't know what I can put them up against so that you can tell that Let's see if I got my Stuart Weitzman here so the pink lenses which I think are awesome and the frames they consider red but because the lenses are pink it they kind of have that just lipstick color just the pinky red and I love them aren't they pretty and they come in white also I really liked the white ones but I had just gotten the other white glasses and they just fit my face perfectly they don't touch my cheeks and I love them I think they're so cool and sporty and just love them they were like one something too they aren't polarized so they weren't as expensive and I just think a lot of you would like those and then when I was trying those on literally I was looking in the mirror and I saw a pair of glasses behind me and so after I tried those and the two girls were helping me and one girl has helped me a lot so she always knows my taste and everything I turned around and I said I saw a pair of glasses back here I liked and I could not find them because it looked so different but it was these and we finally found them and they are Tory Burch I love this glasses case so nice and I tried them on both of them on for John last night and he liked them both he really liked these and these come in pink and blue but I really liked the blue and they're very different they're very pretty like dressy I can just see you wearing these for an outside party and they when I put them on they just oh they got my fingernail when I put them on they just fit perfectly and I just and think, I so think pretty. John said these were his favorites he loved these I think they're very just I don't very know, light neat looking and they aren't last time I got a pair of Tory Burch I, they felt I don't know they just didn't feel very nice but these feel a little bit nicer and they have the little T on the side they're just really really pretty and I would love for you guys other others of you that collect sunglasses and love different sunglasses 
to tell me I've noticed when I see on TV I see like I remember seeing Camille Grammer Kim Kardashian I see them they have these huge closets and I remember I think Lisa Vanderpump they have their sunglasses in their closets and they have them just kind of laid out I wonder if they just throw their cases away or if they keep them it's kind of like the shoe box you know it's like I always hate to get rid of the nice shoe boxes but I don't want to keep them in shoe boxes because then you can't see them but what I've done is I used to just keep all of them in the car but it got to where I just had too many they were falling all over the place and so I've got a drawer that I've put them in but I've got them in their cases and so I just wanted I'm curious to see what you do and um, because that is something else I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks is I've really got to clean out my closet and John is going to build me some shelves for my shoes I really I have room in my closet if I wanted to put them in boxes but I don't want to I love being able to look at my shoes and that's how I pick out what I'm going to wear I can't imagine them being in boxes and I don't want to do the picture thing I really want to see them so anyway he's going to do that for me soon and I want to do something with my sunglasses too so when I get that done I'll show you you know what I have I don't have a great big closet if I, I always say if I had a big house and a big closet, I probably couldn't afford shoes and sunglasses. So I just make do <laughs> with what I have. And I've never been one to really want a great big house. It's I'm weird like that. I never wanted a big wedding. I like, I don't know. I'm just weird about the things that I like to do and things that I don't. So I think what I'm going to do is end this video here for those of you that are just interested in the makeup and maybe the sunglasses. And those of you that are interested in I got one necklace to show you and some clothes and my shoes and I don't want to rush and I've already I'm already at 2609 so I'm gonna make this part one and then on the next video I'll make part two so I'll see you then bye bye